Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and welcome to Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Hi, I'm Nikki. And I'm Matt. And, and welcome, welcome to our unsettled journey. So welcome to Louisiana everyone and first things first on our bucket list here in Baton Rouge is we are doing a, not a swamp tour, but we're just seeing a swamp as that is one of the main things that is to do here in Baton Rouge. So we just decided that we would go to a place called the Black Swamp Trail and that's where we're on currently so we hope to see a swamp. The Black Swamp Trail isn't too far from where we are staying and there's other nature preserves in the area and state parks that have swamp lands that you can go visit and do tours of if you're visiting Baton Rouge. And why do they call it Baton Rouge? Well, Baton Rouge literally translates as a French word to red stick and the explorer who discovered Baton Rouge and claimed the land saw a red stick sitting on the Mississippi River Bank and decided just to call it exactly Baton Rouge, translated from the red stick that he found. So if you can't already tell, my hair is a wreck already and we just started, but we'll definitely be sure to show you once we get there. We made it to the end of the Black Swamp Trail and it is about a mile to a mile and a half walk and of course the one thing you gotta do here in Louisiana is go to a swamp so that's what we did and of course it's really hot, humid but the cool thing about it is you see a lot of wildlife in the area they might not see in other parts of the country which is pretty neat. So we definitely got a lot of bug spray and we highly recommend that and luckily it's a paved trail. Throughout our research of what to do here in Louisiana especially in the Baton Rouge area was to visit a swamp so we tried to find different nature trails that were close to where we were staying to come on out and spend some time where we could actually visit a swamp. A lot of the tours that you will find include a boat ride um, with a swamp but there are other areas where you can come out and just hike at your leisure so that's what we decided to do today. So the old Capitol building got its start in 1847 and it looks like, if you haven't noticed, like a castle. And it has gotten some criticism within the history of it just because of its structure that it really doesn't look like a traditional Capitol building was. So now we were just in the area and we so happened to find out that it was free to go inside so we'll go on and check that out. The inside of the old Capitol building is really beautiful with lots of colors, it's stained glass, they have a rotunda at the top of maybe the third floor that's really beautiful, all kinds of different colors. Right now we are in another room with lots of stained glass. They give you a free walking tour map when you come in for looking at different exhibits that they have here inside the Capitol. For being such an old building, they really kept this place in awesome condition mm -hmm. and they have it just the way it probably was back in the 1800s when this was in its prime. They have all the different rooms set up. The map will guide you not only downstairs but also to the upstairs exhibit. They've got videos playing and really neat artifacts around as well so you can educate yourself on what it was probably like um, when this was the Capitol building, the one and only Capitol building in town. The old Capitol building is situated right along the Mississippi River, so if you are in the area and wanting to walk along the river, you can hit this and also visit over some of the sites that are along the Mississippi River, which we'll take you to in a little bit, but it's very, very close. And the unique thing about Baton Rouge is that there isn't just one Capitol building. There's actually two state capitals. This is the newest state capitol, which is much larger, and the construction for this building was completed in 1931. They have an observation tower area for you to go visit, which is on one of its top floors. Now, unfortunately, the top portion, the overlook at the top, is not open today. It's fenced off. We don't know if that's just for today or if that's how it was previously. At one point, you could go to the top, and look out at the whole city and it was really nice view but unfortunately today we won't be doing that. Keep a lookout on the Capitol Building's website for more information on whether or not the observation tower is open but even if it's closed still come down to this area it's got really beautiful grounds and a large area kind of park around it and it's right in the heart of the historic part of town so it's worth checking out the area anyway.
On today's visit to the Capitol here, we were actually able to go inside. However, we were not able to go to the top observation tower like we wanted to. However, we were able to go into the first floor rotunda area, and while we were in there, coincidentally, they had a open session of Congress that was on recess. So we were able to go in and just do a quick little in and out while they were in between sessions. So that was pretty cool to see. So that's one thing that makes this city very unique is that the city's capital actually has two capital buildings standing to this day. So now that we've explored the capital building, we're gonna go explore the downtown historic Baton Rouge. <laughs> So we just left the old Capitol building area and we're walking along the Mississippi River right now. They have a good piece of the river that's paved and you can actually visit an old naval ship that they have near the Mississippi River. They've got views of the famous bridge in town. It's right by the Raising Canes River Center. We don't have that much time in Baton Rouge, so we're lucky that we got great weather while we're here, yeah. that it's not raining or storming. It's extremely hot today. Oof. So we are in the mid 90s right now. And so walking around, we are getting a little bit hot. So we think we're gonna change up <laughs> the pace and go visit something indoors. Another great thing to see here in Louisiana is home of the Tabasco sauce. We are leaving Baton Rouge on our way to another city, which if you would like to find out what city, you can go check out our Patreon page. But we made it as another stop towards our next destination to stop here at the Tabasco Museum and Store. And it is located about an hour and a half to two hours just outside of Baton Rouge. And the Tabasco sauce has been created here and it's been nearly 150 years that it's been kept in a tradition here in the state of Louisiana. And right over there is the museum. They have a country store and like a little garden area. So if you're really into hot sauce, we highly recommend coming here to the Tabasco factory in Louisiana. So we checked in at the country store and they have fun little knickknacks with Tabasco branding on it. So if you're really into that, go check that out. And they also have a restaurant here. It's called 1868. So if you're ever up for a bite to eat after the museum tour, we highly recommend going over there and checking that out. So overall, I think our visit to Louisiana and especially Baton Rouge was a success. It was really only a stopping point between Florida and our next destination, but the one thing that we didn't get a chance to try, which was recommended to us, was Louisiana Russian cake mm -hmm. or Creole trifle. You might have heard of that as well. There were some bakeries that we heard might have it, but unfortunately they were actually reopening again on July 1st mm -hmm. and we're filming this in June, so it wasn't meant to be, but Louisiana Russian cake, to give you a little information, is when bakeries take their leftover scraps of cakes, muffins, really whatever scraps of desserts and baked goods they have, reform it into a spring form pan and then kind of re-moisten it with a fruit spread or jam, jelly, something like that, and then basically serve it so they're able to sell it instead of missing out on what they would otherwise throw away. So it sounds kind of interesting and maybe a little strange, but we were wanting to try it and hoping that Bomb's Bakery would have it, which is the the recommendation that we received was to try it there at Bombs, but again, they were opening on July 1st, and we tried searching some other bakeries, yeah. but weren't able to get it, so yeah. we unfortunately had to leave that behind. But if you've tried it, let us know in the comments, and we hope you enjoyed the adventure we had here in Baton Rouge. If you aren't already, we really appreciate it if you subscribe. It just takes a second, and yep. it's free. Please subscribe, and you can follow us on our other social media as well, which will be linked below. But until next week, we will see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.